Hey guys, welcome to our first episode of T-Rex Cast. I am one of your hosts, Will the Kid. And I'm your host, Alex of the Field. He's the other one. The short one. The short one, I'm the fat one. And here we are, we're here to tell dick jokes and talk about things. So since this is our first episode, we have no idea what's going to happen. This could potentially be the worst idea ever. I blame Will. Um, this is your idea. Well, this is always going to be Will's fault. Any fuck up, it's on Will. Okay, perfect. So we're here for nerd things. Uh, movies, TV, video games. You want to tell them about it, Alex? Yeah, yeah. comic books as well sometimes if we're going to get into oh, that. Oh, those things. Um, Do people still read comics? Yeah, of course. I still Probably read more than ever now. Not really. Oh. It's, a, it's a dying brand, but... I mean, probably physical comics, but like everyone's reading digital comics because... Di- digital comics are the wave of the future. I'm not going to lie. I hate them. But I love collecting the actual... But I also comic. don't own an iPad. <laughs> Like, reading a comic on my iPhone yeah. just makes me want to cry. I'd rather, like, hold the pages and really have a comic in my hand. The thing about that is I'm very p- uh, picky when it comes to comics. Um, if I don't have the physical comic with me, I can't read a comic book. Like, digitally, I hate digital stuff. See? Yeah. So we're we're just like the old grumpy men of comics yeah, we'll now because be- we're, like, in our mid-20s. We're no longer children. Mid-20s? Like, speak for yourself. 24 is mid-20s. Sorry, 24 buddy. 24 is not mid. That's mid-20s. It's buddy. not mid-25 is mid-20s. That's literally middle of I mean, your 20s. Just, just Five accept, years after. Just I'm, accept it, buddy. You're fucking God, old. I'm old. I'm going <laughs> to die soon. We're going to die. <laughs> we're going to die. Okay, anyways. So we're actually from a team of people. We call ourselves uh, T-Rex Gaming. Um, our mascot is actually a cyborg T-Rex. So if you find us on Twitch, you'll probably see one of us or someone better at it game playing casting. a game. Yeah. yeah. Make sure to follow us, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Tinder. Ladies. Follow us on Tinder and swipe right, bitch. It's been a crazy week in gaming. Uh, we got Evolve coming out today. Evolve. Tuesday. Like, what do you think about that game? I actually played the the big alpha for it. Oh, really? I played the big alpha for it. I was invited to play it. I was one of very few select people. Very, very Oh, so you're just very so prestigious. fucking cool. I am very up there in the gaming community. Evolve was super fun. A lot of people were having gripes with it, um, having been announced that it was probably going to be online only but the developers came out and just straight out said hey it's offline as well so you don't have Thank to be God. online yeah you don't it's not going to be another destiny disaster i don't yeah. like that like everything gaming is moving towards this multiplayer yeah a online of- community because like titanfall was fun for less than a week yeah. destiny was fun for less than a week i get a lot of people love destiny a lot of people are playing it still it's true but mm-hmm. it's just I, I like actually now I like more the than single experience, like yeah. when you're alone and like you go through some. Even if it's like co-op player, and you're yeah. with a friend, yeah, like a Nintendo game. Yeah, I don't know. I just like mm. that journey mm-hmm. to happen just for you. It's true. If there's a million other people in your world, I'm not a World of Warcraft guy. It's funny it's that ruining we're, your story. It's funny that you bring this up about Destiny because uh, there are over four million pl- players on Destiny right now. Really, four million, and that's more than I thought. They're all smoking way too much They're weed. All smoking way too much weed, drinking too much Mountain Dew. There's no such thing. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Evolve is coming out. Um, well, it came out today. Um, I do urge you all to pick it up just because it was that fun. It's really fun. I mean, you could be the monster, which it is kind of really cool. reminded me of like versus in Left 4 Dead 2. A little bit. It's just a bit. You know, how you could be the tank and all that stuff. Right. Uh, on this one, you could be this big hulking monster. You could make it different skins. It has like a Cthulhu vibe. You know okay. Cthulhu is? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. It has that kind of vibe going on. And you're basically going against four other hunters. There's a trapper, a hunter. Is it fun being the monster? It's For me, I feel like I would always want to be a hunter. I, I hated being the, mon- the monster, honestly, but okay. if you're really good at it, and you know how to use them correctly, you should be fine. Is it just because you feel like there's no way you're going to win? No, no, no. It's just because I, I, I hate moving slow in any kind of game. Oh, okay. And the monster's a hulking monster. He doesn't move very fast. Right, right, Unless right. you're probably the Wraith. Wraith is pretty fast, but... What are what are all the strong. types of monsters? You there's, I believe there's a Titan. Kind of, no, Goliath, I think it's called. Goliath. Okay. A Wraith and um, a Kraken. The Kraken looks exactly like... Release the Kraken! The Kraken. <laughs> Unless so is it just it. is it just like... Constantly moving. in new battles yeah. all the fucking time. You're constantly moving. You're constantly trying to find this monster. I guess the whole story is you're trying to hunt this person that was once your friend. Are you trying to save them or I, kill I, them? I think you're trying to kill them. As the monster, you, the as monster's all to kill friends you, should try to kill each other. <laughs> Battle Royale, Hunger Game style. 
Um, but you mean battle royale style? Battle royale style is the best one. Hunger that, Games is battle that, royale with a bunch of fucking CGI. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do urge you all to try it out at least once. Uh, if you if you could demo it, demo it. Uh, play it along with friends. But going back to the whole thing that you said, um, that you like having your own adventure and yeah, not yeah, playing I online. Like, I like having a, a story. Lot of, a lot of people are saying that the single player adventure is dying. The whole single player experience is gone. Well, yeah. Look at the Call of Duties. Like most yeah. people don't even play those campaigns. Halo and all that stuff too. But even Halo, Halo people love the campaign. I Halo was made not just because of the multiplayer. That Halo it, Two campaign like Halo changed th- my life. I've only ever played Halo Two and I loved it. But you uh, never played the first one. I haven't played the first one. I haven't played the third. Oh Breach my or any god! Just because I just the got first time the flood was a thing was in it? Halo One back in like I don't even know when I was playing that game like two thousand one, two thousand two, yeah. and like you're fighting against the Covenant, and then there's this twist of there's this other fucked up thing. That you also have to worry about that hates everything and kills and latches onto everything. It was terrifying. I'm gonna pretend I know what you're talking about. Because the I flood. Don't. I've only played Halo Two once or twice, and uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I passed the campaign. I just it was so long ago. I just don't remember it. We're we're gonna do we're gonna do a Twitch thing and we're gonna co-op Halo Two anniversary. I'm actually really up for that. I'm, I'm up for that. If you're okay. up for it, I'm up for it. Let's do it. I could bring over Last of Us. You could experience the feels. Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask is coming out. Did Alongs- it already come out? It Did it come out today? On, it's coming out on Friday alongside uh, the, the new 3DS. The ones with new thumbs. Right, right. They're thing, they're yeah. going through and they're redoing the classics. Yep. Um, I, I've i seen the Ocarina of Time on the 3DS. I love Ocarina of Time and it looks crazy Ocarina good. of Time is probably one of my favorites. So I never played Majora's Mask because all of my friends when I was a kid were just like, no, it's fucking difficult. Don't try it. It's not Ocarina of Time. It's so much harder. And I was like, crap, I already suck at Ocarina of Time. I've actually never played Majora's Mask because I've always been poor. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I wasn't Well, that's able, a thing, too. I've always never been able to like afford it. But now like the age of emulators is out, and I have really had no excuse to not play it. Let's basically. do it. Let's, let's, let's pick it up, and we'll see how it is. Majora's yeah. Mask. Uh, we might, I, know, I know there's no Ganondorf. There's no... Any of that uh, in this there's game. There's a weird theory going around that Link is dead the whole game. Oh, um, fuck. Yeah, it's a weird, subtle thing, but we'll get into that later. Are you excited for New Link? Um, that new Legend of Zelda? Like, have you played any of the newer platforms? I have Link? not. I haven't played, like, a Twilight Princess or any of that. But I love Twilight Princess. I heard that is my really good. favorite Zelda game. I heard, like, the graphics are amazing, too, so. I mean, like, it's whatever. Okay. I, I played it um, on the GameCube, not the Wii. Oh, GameCube, wow. So, like, it's still even... Those are the worst graphics, mm. but I've never played a Zelda game and been like, yeah, I'm stoked about these graphics, bro. Unlike the new one, the Wii U version, which is open I mean, world. That that looks cool. It looks pretty good, man. But as far as Legend of Zelda goes, I like it for story. I like it for hard puzzles yeah. and just like, it's a really positive feeling game. This is why Link to the Past is always going to be my favorite Zelda game. Oh, really? I played that when I was three years old. That's the first game I ever passed completely. And that's not an easy game. I mean, for like a 34 year old to play that. <laughs> I wasn't playing games at impressive. three years old. Huh, yeah. Our last bit of game news today is GTA V um, leaked source codes that hint at um, heists are finally going to come to the fucking online. This About game has been out. Fucking time. This game has been out. For like what two years now? About two years, and it's been remade for the newer generation, the newer gen consoles. Don't get me wrong, I love Rockstar, even though they're kind of dicks with like taking their time. They're kind of like um, putting out actual content for their stuff. They're kind of like I mean Half Life. Like we're just still waiting on Red Dead Redemption Two. That's n- <laughs> that's not happening for like five it's, years. It's been hinted, what is it like it Red Dead been. Revolver, the first one? No. The new one, it doesn't have a name? No, not yet. I think it has a name now. Does it really? Yeah. Red Dead. They're going into production for it when they're finally done with um, GTA 5 PC. Oh. oh. Which is is when this this new heist thing potentially could come out. Every pack or thing that has come out for GTA 5 has always leaked first. So this is a really good sign that it's on the way. The only thing that's kind of frustrating is the people that bought it when it first came out, they were really excited about the game. They can't play these heists. Yeah, All bought, these things that they were promised. I bought this game two years ago when it came out on my PS3, before the new PS4 came out. This yeah. is my main draw for buying the game, because I've never been a big GTA guy to begin with. I mean, I love oh, GTA. Oh, I've always been. It's, it's Ever cool, since GTA 3, It's a I've cool been little hooked. playground. You know, it's a nice sandbox playground, so it's really fun. Guns, guns, Friend. guns. 
but now like two years later i still don't have it i sold a game back to uh, gamestop did you really yeah i just didn't i care play for it. it i play it every couple of months i just love like joining and like getting into the online world i was playing like two days ago yeah, I was, and I like but i'm playing it on my 360 yeah and i do have an xbox one but now i for sure have to buy the game again to play the thing i wanted to play the most two fucking years ago and it's not even out yet i mean it's so, great that it's finally here yeah i still have a lot of friends that play the game so hopefully we all just jump on new gen yeah and um at pick least, it up at least it wasn't a destiny disaster i don't know but like <laughs> rockstar is like a bad mom that just keeps slapping you in the face it says like here do you want a cookie and, and you reach for that cookie and then she slaps you in the face again and activision is the dad that just leaves the family without ever saying anything we're really excited for heist i hope that this is it i hope it's coming now i hope we're finally here and we can play the game we always wanted to play yeah and speaking of playing games that we've always wanted to play again uh resident evil just did an excellent hd remake that was released on the last gen and I believe new gen too I'm not oh really I'm not 100% sure but this is Resident Evil 1 the mansion one you remember that one you ever play that one for the I PlayStation I never played that one the only you... Resident Evil I've played is Resident Evil 4 oh my god you're missing out on like the best trio no of you know what games. that's a lie I played Resident Evil 2 Oh, okay, okay. That was way, pretty, way back in the PlayStation was, days. Okay, okay. That one's pretty good. I like that game. Part 3 was my favorite. I just so. hated... Stop Even back shooting. then, I hated camera work of Ooh. those three-person type of games. It was very ambitious, games. though. Very ambitious for those kind of games. No, it totally is. Yeah. But, like, it's also frustrating because yeah. you can just, like, fall into corners and of die course. for no reason. And if the camera angle just switches randomly, you'll be running the opposite direction. Oh, of, God. Yeah. But anyways, uh, the new first, well, the new one, but the HD remake of Part 1 just came out. Um, it was originally out for um, the GameCube, the HD actual remake, but they re 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 made it uh, kind of like because they can't make a new game that's good yeah and <laughs> it's actually selling a crap load on the PSN it's actually breaking lots of records really uh, digitally um, I picked it up myself I started playing it love the cutscenes love the way it moves it's just very fluid now it's not as clunky and you know saturated as the other ones right um, so I do urge you guys to pick that one up too if you guys have the money for it I know it's kind of priced 20 bucks not bad for yeah, for, but for like yeah. a really good classic yeah. game that started this huge franchise. Exactly, yeah. Twenty dollars is not a lot. Twenty dollars is not a lot, and it's breaking records, guys. It's, it's like a really fancy reason. pizza. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Let's order a pizza in the yeah. middle of this podcast. We're sponsored by Pizza Loca. No, we're not. Um, there are a few games coming out that you might be interested in. Like what? Um, there's Uncharted, uh, Uncharted Four. Right. right. It is for the PS4. I know you have the Xbox One, which you suck. Um, but. Are we going to get into like a Xbox PlayStation we're, debate right now? Because that's in. so oh, yeah, stupid and played it's out. It's already so light years ahead of Xbox. So it's not if it makes you feel funny. any better, I got my Xbox One for free. Oh, it actually does so make you feel better. So fuck you. How'd you get it for free? Uh, we can't go into that. Okay, no problem. I did some dirty things. Uh, we got the order coming up. That's only for PS4 as well. I'm sorry to say that, but it's very. Oh, really the Orteen, the Order uh, 1886. 18. Yeah, I, I actually tested that game. It actually looks really good, though. It was it was a yeah. lot of fun to test with and like talk to the creators and like see all the concept art and where they work. For I don't know, reference. but I tested it maybe like six months ago. Uh huh. Um, just like with a weird focus group, and I just happened to get picked for it. What was your was experience like, with yes, it? Yes, let's go do this. Yeah. Um. And it was great. We just like went in. Um, they sat us all down at like computers and that had all um that had PlayStation controllers and we just played through the game. We got like two real levels. We got some really just rough, like gray nothingness and they're like, try to find your way out. That's it. Oh, you know, like cause they're testing like is it like obvious where to go? Oh, okay. Okay. Cause it's really interesting that like in games even the sense of like walking through a room mm-hmm. has to physically tell a story to the person that's playing the game because you have to know, okay, yeah. I see this over here. That's clearly where I need to go. It's your objective, yeah. So Still stuff like that is obvious. so detailed and they were really like taking the time to make sure that was going on. It's this very yeah. fun like steampunk meets, I don't even know, but it's like... <laughs> um, yeah, it's very God, it's very it's very Gears of War-ish. Yeah, very Gears of very War, Gears run of and gun, hide and... I think it played a little better than Gears of War. Yeah, I, I, mean, lo- I liked Gears of War a lot. Early when it reviews, first came out. early reviews, and early testing has been a very mixed 
like in mixed emotions about it because some weapons aren't as strong as the others. So they're trying to balance it out. But right. Um, no, we did do, we did do a run thing where it was just like a floor of weapons oh, cool. and we just like tried out different weapons to see how hard it was. And it was very unbalanced at the time. Yeah. I don't know how it is now, but it was very unbalanced. Yeah. And the light, the lightning gun, the Tesla gun or whatever it is, like was the slowest reload Ooh. I've ever had in my entire life. Like rocket launchers are faster than that. Wow. Thing. Yeah. But was it strong? It was crazy strong. Okay. Everyone dies instantly. Then it's so probably if you, what? if you take your time and do yeah. your shots right, it's going to be great. Yeah. And you just duck and cover and reload again. And I think that's all we have on game news. So yeah. not too much um, news going on for that. I mean, big, big movie and TV news this week. Big. First one. Do you want to say it? Because I'm I'm so fucking excited for this. I'm pretty damn stoked. You say it. You know? I could do a whole podcast just about this. Like The child of me is just so stoked about Will this. Will is just too excited to even speak. Look at him. So if you haven't heard yet, Spider-Man is joining the Avengers. Marvel and Sony put away their swords. Finally and they back. just and they he's, uh, home. he's home. He's in the family. And Civil War is just going to- Technically. He's hey, technically in the He's going to come back. And be a big part of Civil War. And I'm from, so stoked. But from what I'm heard, well, from what I've heard, um, Sony and Marvel struck up a deal, but it gave um, Sony exclusive licensing for the film as well. So they get to distribute it. They get to do exactly the last final word of it, basically. Totally. So they still get a good chunk of the money from that. Yes, and it's going to be huge chunk of money because it's going to be everyone's so going to. I was already so stoked for Civil War because mm-hmm. it's a great storyline, yeah. but now. It just, uh, and if you look at like what all our actors are signed on for as yeah. far as the Marvel verse, um, they're gonna die. Oh, definitely. Before yeah, all of our favorite heroes, everyone like, realistically in the comics, Iron Man was fucking no one. Yeah, and you no know, one no Iron one, Man. no one cared. No I one, hated Iron Man. Nah, yeah. he's fine. Uh, he was a douche in the comics. He was fine, but he was like a D-list celebrity. He was. Well, he's more of a C-list. I mean, let's, let's keep it real. He did and have. Now, he did have a '90s cartoon. Remember, I am I Iron Man. No one liked that. I love that show. Did you no. not like that show? War Machine no. was like the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man show, War Machine's the best. When I was a child, it was all about Batman and Spider Man. Those were my shows. Those were my superheroes. And to see that Spidey's back home is just fucking great. Mm-hmm. And now he's going to get his standalone movie in the verse, in the timeline, which is going to push back four films. Which is kind of sad for me because I really I was pushing to see that. I could give a fuck about Thor at this point. Yeah, I don't care about Ragnarok. I, mean, I don't But that's care what everyone's that. freaking out about yeah. is that Thor's pushback. You know what I mean? There's, 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 made there's, a great, with Loki. there's great things in there in both of yeah. them. Obviously, the second one's a little better. Of course. Uh, in terms of villain wise. Bring me another. It's a great character, yeah. but what we all really want to see is these characters together. Exactly. At this point, I don't think it's as important to have standalone films for everybody because it feels a little much. It feels like... Actually, I'm going to cut you off there and say I don't think it's good to have standalone films for the characters that are already established. If we can bring up more characters like Black Panther, Captain Marvel... They're all we, getting them. Yeah, they're all getting them, but if they were sooner... It'd be a lot better on our part because we get to find out who these characters are. We don't have to care about Iron Man and them for the long run right now. Isn't Avengers two like Whedon's last film? Yeah, he, he's, no really yeah he's no part longer part of. Helmet. I mean, like he's been doing this like what fifteen years yeah, now. He's he, been on. He's made the Avengers like what it is. You know totally, what I mean? but I yeah. think Marvel Movie finally, wise. Marvel finally knows how to do this. They've done a really great job at just picking everybody because, like, other than James Gunn, yeah. Like, they don't want a voice anymore. They want what they want. They want a cookie cutter of what they have in their mind. And the yeah. director is there to just sort of make sure it happens. And Iron Man 3 is testament to that, basically. Because that's it's a very... I wouldn't say that at all. Iron Man 3 was crap. It was just really Are you bad. kidding me? I hated Iron Man 3. Are you kidding it me? It was so bad. No. Iron Man hasn't been any good since part one. Part one was a I will. Film. I will agree with you that yeah. two is kind of... Tired and very bland. annoying. Part three is very bland. I Part like the three is incredible. The character- I just want a movie. I just want a movie of Tony Stark in that scene where he has like just tiny little gadgets and not his thing, and he just does an okay, Ocean's Eleven movie gonna, and fucking I'm, steals money from everyone. I'm I'm gonna agree that Part Three had its really good moments. Like it had amazing character development. But in terms of uh, yeah, but I you like, like Man it. of Steel, so fuck I don't, you. I like Man of Steel, <laughs> and no, I see, I see the serious flaws in Man of Steel. So I mean, I can appreciate it for what it was, for what it was trying. Iron to Man be. Three to me is one of my favorite of the Marvel verse. It's it one really? of my favorite. It's in like wow, my favorite goes 
fucking um, Avengers. Okay. Guardians. Uh huh. Cap two. Okay. Cap Cap two. Okay. Winter Soldier. Yeah. And then Iron Man three. Wow. For because me, for me, Iron Man one is perfect and it is the way it is. I agree. And the whole Marvel versus because the movie happened the way it did. This all started because of how Iron Man turned out. Yeah. But they had no idea what they were doing. Mm-hmm. They were making stuff up on the day. Yeah. And so like, like knowing that you can see those flaws, you can see those like uncertainties yeah. in the storytelling. The more of the, um, it was a great yeah. luck of the draw and it's a brilliant movie and it's fucking fun. And but Iron, Iron Man, Man three is polished. It knows its character. It's a little darker, but it didn't go too dark. I feel like, I feel like Iron Man's like that first album from the band. You know what I mean? Where that first album is just gonna be amazing, like Lincoln Park's Hybrid Theory. Is a bad example. You go to Lincoln Park. Bad <laughs> example. <for the> first. <laughs> bad example. But you know how that Hybrid Theory. Everyone loves Hybrid Theory. I mean, even if you don't like Lincoln Park, you're gonna love Hybrid Theory. You at gonna, least grew up on it, yeah. and it's part of you. Yeah, exactly. That's how Iron Man One is for me. But later on, he just gets too polished, too overproduced, and they don't take the same, you know, the same steps as they did for Iron Man One that made it so amazing. You know what I'm trying to say here? I do, but yeah. I totally disagree. Oh, no, I, I, I respect and I, and your And you opinion. know what? If you look at the internet, yeah. this is how the internet is. Everyone is totally mixed on Iron Man 3. It's true. But yeah. maybe because like I really like characters and story yeah. more. Oh, I, I like, love I like internal struggle a lot more than a CGI fight. As Honestly, much as I love... I think the thing I really hated about Iron Man 3 was their villain. I will give you that. They fucked us on the Mantis. I mean, come on. They it's gonna did you see the short film i did it was it was it's gonna be fine they're gonna fix it uh my big thing was fucking gwyneth paltrow hey getting in that fucking suit hey that was so that was probably the silver lining of it i've always wanted to see her kick some ass and she no i hate gwyneth paltrow she can she can go die she should have died in the fire yeah so Spider Man. Well, yeah, back to Spider Man. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! How do you how do you feel about Andrew Garfield being uncertain about returning? To no, Spider-Man? he's for sure. Is he for sure? He's for sure not coming back. Okay, okay. And honestly, thank God. Do you not I, like him? I really liked him in okay. the first. The first, in the one first was good. Amazing Spider Man yes. was great. Um, it was not perfect. I call it Spider Man for babies. Okay, okay. Because it is sort of like this pre teeny like yeah. version of Spider Man. And I yeah. get it. He's a teenager high school and he has That's like how all he those is turmoils in the, in the comics. Like, <laughs> I'm just not gonna connect to it the same way I did it when I was a kid. Yeah. But I still know the way the character should be taken seriously yeah. and I felt like it was a little tongue in cheek. Uh, I can but see it that. was it was definitely the better of all the Spider Man movies that have been put out. It I was agree. definitely the best. Well, it, it's it's uh it's debatable because part one of the original series was actually really good. I mean, you, you can't beat Macho Man in the Bone Saw. Bone Saw, come on, you can't beat that. It's <laughs> Bruce Campbell making appearances. Come on, it was just amazing. Back to Spider Man. Who do you want to see helm the Spidey suit? I really don't have an opinion. Okay, right now I loved the the like fake campaign of Donald Glover. I love being that. it, yeah, but he's so different now with his childish Gambino attitude. Like he's yeah. so not even Donald Glover anymore. Like you used to watch that guy in interviews and stand up in the community. And he and was this stuff. person, yeah. yeah, and like that's who he was, quote unquote, as a human. And now he's really passionate about his music, mm-hmm. and that's great. And like he does do yeah. pretty good music. I mean, he did voice Miles Morales in the TV show, the cartoon show of Spider Man for like an episode or two. Um, I think he could do it if he learns how to like put the charm back on yeah definitely because i i want to see miles morales come to the universe it's not gonna happen but marvel's really good since marvel is like at the helm now of their character they've been really good about who they pick for characters Um, so debatable benedict cumberbatch as dr strange is like the worst thing for me for me a lot of fans are gonna hate us i'm sorry i don't care about benjamin cumberbatch at all like i don't care about sherlock like sherlock should have been pedro pascal but they sort of listen to what the majority of the fans want. Yeah. And the majority everyone of the watched, fans everyone wanted Doctor Alien. Strange for him. I'm going to watch the movie still, obviously. It's going to be decent. I, I mean, bet. what else do you have better to do? Exactly. In three years. Um, four but, um, years. Do you not have an opinion who you want to see as Spider-Man? Spider-Man? Yeah. Because um, you're thinking about having a kid from a Lightning Thief. I keep forgetting his name. Logan or something like that. Huh. And then the other kid from the Maze Runner. Is that the same kid? Because I don't alike. like that guy. You don't not, like that guy? Not I don't for like Spider-Man. I do not like him. 
Uh, they wanted Jake Gyllenhaal maybe as an older kind of style Spider Man. I can t- I can totally see that. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's all gonna depend on like what they want to do. Is this high school Spider Man? Is this like early twenties Spider Man? Yeah. This know? is probably gonna be high school Spider Man still. Just because, really, um, realistically, if you're gonna do that, it's gonna have to be a high school Spider Man because that's how he is in the Ultimate Universe, and it looks like the MCU is taking from the Ultimate Universe, right. where Spider Man is. You know, Peter Parker ultimately dies. So I, I really want to see Miles Morales. I'm just in. excited that he's home. I'm excited that he's a character in the yeah. verse. Like we get to see him. The only thing that could just 100 percent make me happy is if Wolverine just shows up at the end of Civil War. It's funny. And then I'll just I'll just jizz everywhere. Huh? He's expressed interest in like trying to join up with the Avengers. Of course, but Fox will never, never let that do. happen. They're not going to let go of X Men. They're trying to. Start they canceled. Out. Like, yeah. fucking Marvel canceled Fantastic Four's comic. And X, and they, they refused to make any new co- uh, any new uh, characters for the X-Men because of that as well. Just so they can get the, um, the earnings back, basically, the whole um, license back. Yeah, them. it's fucking stupid. Um, Fox is trying to start a TV show based on the X-Men. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't it's like It's probably not going to be any good. Marvel is not good at TV shows. I'm sorry, guys. They just, they're just not. Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., wasn't great in the first uh first season. Later on, after the whole, um, can we be hopeful for Daredevil? I I can. I think it's gonna be okay. Um, uh, they just announced that it's gonna be um, MA, right? TBMA. Yeah, so like audiences, I feel like that's gonna it's gonna drive it up for sure. It's at least not gonna be fucking Affleck. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Justice is served. Justice like no, served. no, kill yourself. Don't do that, Affleck. We love you. If you're if you're listening to us, we love you. Well, no, now he's like huge in Batman, like yeah. fucking Dark Knight Returns Batman. I'm so like for that, I man. will never say anything so bad excited. about Affleck now yeah. because he he's... could kill me. Yeah, literally, he can pick up cinder blocks and just crush them into my face. Literally, he beats Superman in the comics. Yes, he does with his uh, kryptonite powered suit. So fuck all that noise. I hear they're gonna have that fight scene in the actual movie, so I'm actually really excited about that. If anything, if all else fails for the movie, that's gonna bring it up at least for a little bit. Totally, totally. Yeah. The yeah. only thing that's like really nerdy and like fun and like in our world of like things we like is Jupiter ascending, which just makes me depressed to be honest. Why is like that? because like who wants to see that movie? Like my very who first wants to see Channing Tatum with pointy ears and a weird mustache. The first trailer came out over a year ago. Yeah. And then I remember this. Yeah, actually, yeah, and like I thought, like okay, maybe, maybe the Wachowskis got it together. You know, like Wachowskis <laughs> is the Wachowskis, man. Like I have a special place in my heart for the Matrix, even though they fucked up so hard on so many like places in that storyline. Definitely, yeah. There's still something about it that's just magical to it because like it was my childhood, and like yeah. the first Matrix is great. Yeah, of course, Keanu Reeves actually acting decently, kind of. Nah, I'll I don't know far. if I can agree with too that, far. but like. I also don't mind him yeah. in those movies okay. because they all are the way they are, and it's yeah. not really about characters. Have in you those seen movies. John Wick? I have not. Watch John Wick. It's a great movie. <laughs> not gonna, they're already making a part two. It's an awesome action movie. It's so nice to see Keanu Reeves back in that kind of yeah. role. He's so good at it. To me, it was just it's such a missed opportunity for that for like movies. how are, how are these siblings still making movies? What was your last movie? The um, Cloud Atlas. I haven't seen that movie. No one was, did. Oh yeah, it, like it looked okay, and it was like all about reincarnation is that and the shit. Tom Hanks? Yeah, okay. like they had Tom Hanks and Halle Berry, and no one went to go see that wow, movie. That's, those are big draws. Speed so Racer, wow. terrible. Was movie. that them too? Terrible oh, movie. Uh, Speed Racer fans out there, we feel your pain. Peter Vendetta was like pretty decent. But that was they a pretty good movie. They that didn't direct it; they good. just oh. wrote it. Oh, like they still Very get the surprising. credit as like Wachowskis. We did this film. But they, but they had, like, an AD from The Matrix direct it. Ah, and that's kind of yeah. why it has, like, a different vibe to it. Yeah, it has a different feel to it. And, like, to me, it's superior film yeah. to The Matrix. Really? To me. Compared to the first one and all that? I think The Matrix is obviously more groundbreaking and yeah. important yeah. to the history of film. Yeah. But as far as, like, I mean, you just, just can't beat being that. able to watch it. You just can't beat that building leap from The Matrix. You know what I mean? Bu- jumps out the window. No, it's and it's great, thing. but like I there's mean, just a great movie. there's a sense of intelligence to V for Vendetta that I really love. It has more of that political smacking your face kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. A little umph to it. I'm just like a little punk rock kid in the corner, like, yeah, fuck the yeah, establishment anarchy. man. Yeah. It's like fuck the establishment, but like naps are cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> naps with Netflix are great. Speaking of being way off topic, 
let's let's talk TV shows. We got yeah. we got Netflix talking about. Let's talk about some TV shows because there there were a lot of good TV things that happened this week. Uh, First we, one is we Gotham. can start with Gotham. Let's go. Let's there. start with Gotham. Gotham. Have you been watching Gotham? I have been watching Gotham. I'm I haven't because it. I heard terrible things about the dialogue. It's just like it's so dialoguey, expositiony, yeah. just like it's written like a four year old telling a story. A little bit. Um, I can totally see that happening for like. So critical. what do you like about it? If that's not fun, I, I, does it I like about uh, Harvey's awesome in it? Um, Gordon's uh, psychic. Okay. Or the little partner. He's awesome actor. He's a guy from uh. God, what was that show? I keep forgetting the show. Doesn't matter. He's he's awesome. He's funny in the show. He makes it happen, honestly. Um, not really actually the penguin. The guy who plays the penguin. I keep forgetting his name. He's such a great penguin. He's so good. Like if you're watching the show, you're gonna uh-huh. want you're gonna want to look at these villains because they're like blowing through all the Batman villains like really quick, it really right? Is. Uh, kind of um just because they did Riddler too, right? This, yeah, well the Riddler is Edward Nima. He's uh he works as a forensic scientist for the uh, GCPD, right? Yeah, which is a different backstory from the actual thing. Right. And this is just kind of his ascent into evil, basically into madness. Okay, because he so he's not actually Riddler yet. He's not Riddler yet. He does tell a little bit Riddler jokes just because like he likes riddles. So he says, oh, what's uh, black and, like, white and, like, where to my head kind of thing. You know what I mean? I, that's made up one. Don't try to search that up. It's not a real thing. Um, he's probably one of the best developed characters in the show other than okay. the Penguin. And the Penguin's an awesome little villain right now because it's his ascent to being the biggest crime boss in GC. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gotham City. Right. Um, so, you know, Fish Moonies. I could care less about Fish Moonies. It seems, it seems it. like... Very procedural. Yeah, it's, it's very more of a cop, cop show. show. It's very cop showy, but it has elements of Batman. They have Bruce Wayne as a kid, and Cat Catwoman as a girl, a little girl. Oh, and Bruce Wayne's a kid. He's in a it. kid in this one, yeah. And Alfred is pretty badass in this one. He's pretty cool. Okay. I like him. Uh, but in terms of this uh, past episode, on, which was yesterday, they introduced a very, very early version of Scarecrow. Um, this okay. Is, this is the Scarecrow's father. But then next week is the Joker. Apparently. So it just feels like they're plowing through all these characters that we know because like they're just holding on to, to the anything. Batman. Yeah, they're holding on to that mystic of Batman to draw people in. I can totally see. And why I saw doing I that. saw the promo for it. Yeah, and it sounds like Heath Ledger Joker. Yeah, and I kind of got upset a little bit. I mean, but if you're talking about the Joker here, you know what I mean? He has the laugh of. Don't get me wrong. I love Heath Ledger he Joker. He kind of reminds me of Mark Hamill. I don't know. I yeah. only heard the laugh, and it yeah. sounded exactly like Heath Ledger Joker eh, to me. And bit. it was just like, I don't think we should ever try to fuck with that because uh, we'll we'll never get that performance again. We have we have Suicide Squad coming up, and I feel like he's gonna do his own thing. He's gonna be awesome. I think he plays a nice, creepy guy. He looks creepy. I'm on, I'm on the fence about him. Yeah, yeah. He's probably gonna be fine. Yeah. Because but was, as far as like Dallas for Byers the Club. TV show, this different world, it's yeah. not part of the Nolan verse at all. And this is a kid version of Joker, like a very early version of him, apparently. And in the comics, so all the villains, all all of the superheroes, everyone's just a child. While kinda like, like Ivy, she's while a Gordon kid. just like solves crimes yeah. around everybody. Actually, uh, it's Gordon. He's new at the GCPD, so it's like his ascent into being Commissioner Gordon. You know what I mean? So he's trying to stop like up. nothing from the comics at all. Exactly, they're trying to tell a different backstory to these other secondary characters that we <sighs> never hear about. Oh my god, I I'm so a, confused. I think it's a nice, fresh take on the on the whole thing because I'm I'm tired of hearing about Batman. Batman's everywhere now. Everyone Fuck loves you. Batman. He's the best. I love Batman, dude. Everyone loves Batman. But the thing is, I want to hear a different story. I want to hear Gotham's story. I want to hear how the hell did Gotham get so fucked up and how did Commissioner Gordon become? Commissioner? I guess that's fair. That's totally yeah, yeah. fair. Overall, it's a it's a decent show. It's an okay show. Do I you think see, it's gonna last. I think it's gonna last maybe two more seasons, at least two more. If wow. they're really short, thirteen episode seasons, I think it could last that long. I feel like no one's caring about so far the like so far TV shows. I feel yeah. like no one's caring about Gotham. the superhero TV shows. Like, yeah. um, except for Arrow and Flash, everyone loves Arrow and Flash. What's well, Agent Agent Carter? Agent Carter. Um, I'm hearing great things about that show. Um. But there's no what there's no job what could be more fun than just fucking like people kicking ass against Nazis like it's my favorite thing yeah, in the world. Yeah, and they, they brought back the Howling Commandos from uh, the original Captain America show, yeah, yeah, yeah. well movie and comic, whatever. But are people watching it? They're not watching it. Ratings are super low. It's on the fence of being canceled. It's like right there. It might be canceled soon. I think we should all probably tune in this week. Yeah, check it out. Check because, it out because like. I don't usually watch TV yeah. right when it comes out. I usually watch it the next day online mm-hmm. or something like that because of, I don't know. I you just don't what? You just don't do it? I just don't usually keep up with things when they are airing. Yeah. I usually 
because Stream that it? doesn't matter so. anymore. Like if you no. watch it on the website the next day, yeah. at the convenience, I don't have to watch it when they tell me to sort of a thing. It's kind of whenever you want. You can have a big plate of food in front of you. But there are some yeah. shows that I need to watch live because I feel the need to live tweet them and just like be immersed. And one are of those you, shows... Are you talking about Better Call Saul? Better Call Saul, man. Better Call Saul. Two night premiere just happened on Better Call Saul and that was just off. This is going to be spoilerific just because like... You should have seen it by now. Yeah. It's an important show. Better yeah. Call Saul. This isn't exactly nerd news, but like Breaking Bad was important to me. It is one Part of my of favorite too. shows. I think the same for Alex. Same for me. Yeah. yeah I love that just, show. It is a great show and just great storytelling. It we really haven't is, had yeah. it's like the best modern day Western I've ever watched. I haven't um hated a main character as much as I hated Walt <laughs> in the past couple of years. And that's not a bad thing at that's all. The yeah, that's the beauty of that show, though. Show. That's the point yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, it's an awesome show. But Better Call Saul was like, I was so scared going into yeah. this. No, no, I haven't seen this before, so I'm going to be spoilered on it, too. Um, I don't necessarily mind, but... Oh, do you not want me uh, to I, be I, so spoiler I don't mind at all. Just letting the uh, people out there know. Anyways, go on. So I was really nervous going into this premiere i just felt like maybe it might be just trying to hold on to the good old days of breaking bad kind of like the riding the wave of it basically like joey to friends oh you oh, know don't even bring that up i'm <laughs> just saying that show got two seasons and no one knows why <laughs> but better call saul opens in this beautiful cinematic just black and white it starts in this very tense scene that is very reminiscent of Breaking Bad because I had almost heard that it's supposed to be like a comedy. Yeah, this you is, know, this it's is supposed the same to be universe like, and everything too. It's right? the same yeah. universe, totally. But like the way that they pitched the show, yeah, was it was going to be a lot more comedy driven. It's like kind of interesting the way that he's telling the story of Saul. It almost feels very parallel to Walt now Ooh. because he starts as this nothing lawyer. You Working see, you see some characters mm. that you know along the way that they're also nothing, and it's everyone's rise to this bigger thing that he's going to become eventually. Okay. And that's almost kind of like how Breaking Bad starts. This like lonely and Gotham. science. And Gotham. <laughs> this lonely <laughs> science teacher that becomes this crazy drug lord because he has cancer. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's it it seems like similar to Saul also being the same way of this nothing lawyer rising to this like criminal lawyer that's just great at what he does. Yeah. And like that's it's more interesting than yeah. starting on someone that already knows what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could build more off of that, too. And you could stretch it to oh, other yeah. seasons. You, by the end of yeah. the second episode, you definitely know where the season is going to go. You know the story. Everything comes across very well. Now, do you want to tell us um, who was in this from the past? Like, from from Breaking Bad, basically, other than Saul. So there's two big characters. Okay. One of them is Mike. Ooh. Who is a toll booth guy. Wow. Okay. And he's okay. fucking just like miserable. So he's Mike, so miserable. So Mike the badass is a toll booth guy. They already have this great rapport. Okay. In two episodes, like these characters that we know and love how they're supposed to be. Yeah. There's just already this great like <laughs> battle between them. And it's fucking two episodes into the season. Wow. Okay. And okay. it's totally different than what we know them as. Okay. But the big reveal that everyone was freaking out about was Tuco. Ooh, Tuco, Tuco is back because this is the past, so he's alive. Of course. I don't know. It was a good time. I like Tuco. He was in, well. I was real. I was yeah. just like really afraid yeah. about where this show was going to go, and now I feel like I know exactly how it's supposed to go. So you're feeling like. And I'm ready. Okay. I'm so ready. I'm going to watch this every week, and okay. I hope you are too. See, and now going off of that, um, the whole thing about, you know, going back to the show and keep watching it because it's hold your attention right um the one show that's not doing that for me unfortunately is the walking dead walking dead lost me years ago to be honest i've kept I stuck watching with it. i stuck with it i'm not currently watching but okay. i stuck with it when i did not want to anymore where did you stop um uh, mentally i stopped in season one <laughs> because season one was brilliant it was good the first episode was the best episode i really love season one of the walking dead mm -hmm. you hit the farm and i want to die okay Okay. Like uh, I understand why it got better. I uh, like I like debatable. some of the parts that happened past season 1, but yeah, definitely. A maj I don't understand why it's such a big hit to be honest. It's because it's like the only zombie show, you know what I mean? 
And every, now I'm like every, sick every, of zombies. Every, like everyone, zombies used I'm, to be this thing that no one liked. I'm surprised no one else is burned out on zombies. I'm sure there are a lot of people who are, but I mean, Dying Light came out and that's doing really well too. So zombies. But see, I don't want to play though. that. I don't want to play that game now. Yeah, because I'm so zombie. zombied out. Yeah, yeah. Same for me. Same for Dead Island. Um, but the thing about Walking Dead is, although I'd play I, Left 4 Dead for sure. Left 4 Dead's awesome. I love yeah, Left 4 Dead. you can't live everywhere. Give me another Left 4 Dead, please. Anyways, um, <laughs> going back to this, um, The Walking Dead, I stuck with it in hopes of it kind of trailing back to the comic books and i can see where they have been trailing back back and forth and stuff like that right um it has some reveals and some like little is, hints at is little that the things. only reason why you're upset with it because it's not no enough like i'm a obs- comic the, the latest episode the past two episodes the mid-season finale and the season premiere or the mid-season premiere pissed me the fuck off right uh the mis- this is gonna be super spoiler so if you haven't like seen it if you have if you're planning on seeing it you should probably just stop watching the show because it's terrible the show right now <laughs> Um, but just skip ahead if you can. Um, what we're gonna ha- we're, what I'm gonna say is um, Mickey Mouse dies. Beth, um, she ended up dying in the mid season finale, which is really hard, uh, disheartening because she was being pushed to this like amazing story arc. Like you know, we felt for her. Everyone fell in love with her just because her and uh, Daryl were together. We're well, not really together, but they were hinting at kind of. They were hinting at it for yeah. sure. And we were. Hoping to see this bigger picture with her, maybe like Daryl gonna... is the only reason why anyone is watching uh, still. Definitely, and now it feels like they're just killing characters. This really sucks. So I was hoping this mid-season premiere would be a lot better. It was not. Um, my favorite character in the comics and my favorite character in the TV show dies, and that's Tyrese. So you're just bitter. I'm very bitter. I'm salty as so fuck you, right now. So for you, it's not bad storytelling. You're just no, really no, no. sad that you're already to the this thing point is, in the comic. It is a little bad story. Or the TV show. Because I feel like they're just killing off characters for the shock value. I feel, like a lot of shows, I feel like a yeah. lot of shows are running and gunning with that idea with now. Ever the exception since, of Game of Thrones, because that's what Game of Thrones is. No, but like I feel like that's the reason why. Yeah, definitely. Everyone, yeah. everyone saw like how great Game of Thrones was and saw that you can kill Agreed. off important people. Mm-hmm. You can still keep going, but that's because he knows how to orchestrate it. Yeah, and they're perfect with it. And whereas The Walking Dead is just ra- not random, but it just shouldn't be there sometimes. That's that's the way it would be in yeah. a zombie world. Everyone should die, but but how many seasons are we in? Like six now? I think we're on our fifth. I honestly I forgot. I lost count. <laughs> but I'm I'm just really salty about. Tyrese yeah, we're we're bit. halfway through the we're halfway I mean, through the fifth. That? Yeah. So you're just upset because he died. because he was my favorite com- favorite character in the comic book. He was Rick's right hand man. He was supposed to die, but the- they never really show that. Yeah. They ended his life with him being bit, and that's basically it. Um, in the comic books, they gave him a little bit more of an honorable bit. He, death. He dies by the other hands of uh, the governor. Um, he pleads to Rick to just let him die, basically. Um, that was supposed to be his shining moment, but Herschel got it for some fucking reason. I love Herschel, but Tyrese is my guy. and he So died, now there's 100% now, no reason for you to keep watching. The story is just trailing off. I'm I'm losing interest. They haven't established a well enough bad guy for me to really. I mean, get are they into even it. are they even worried about like a cure anymore? No, not anymore. They actually uh, mentioned that and all that stuff. Oh, um, the guy Eugene, like in the like in the comic books, um, he doesn't know shit about the cure. He's just saying that so he can be with the group and be helpful. I guess you can say so you can have like a sense of purpose. Because it just feels like. The first season set up this very obvious story for yeah, us to go on. The CDC and all that stuff. Yeah. And it's this journey to find this, and I feel like everyone's just stalling. All the yeah. writers are stalling because they're like, fuck, I don't know. Well, because they're catching up with the comic books real fast, too. Yeah. I met him everyone. once. The who? The uh, actor. The actor Glenn. Yeah. Really? How was that? I don't know. I was really drunk. Uh, was he nice, though? No, he was the nicest guy ever. Oh, he was nice. hanging out with all these um, YouTube stars. It was really weird. Wow. We were in this place in um, Beverly Hills. Yeah. And I was really drunk, and my buddy was really drunk, and he was on crutches. <laughs> and he's in this fucking club, and he's on crutches, and he falls onto oh. Glenn's fucking table. Oh, shit. Like, right onto this movie or TV star's table. Well, just, like, f- fucks up all their drinks. Ah. And he was the nicest guy ever. He helped him back up. Yeah. He helped us. He bought us a drink. Oh, that's nicest cool. dude Even ever. Even though you guys were already drunk. It, I don't think <laughs> he Fuck cared. It. <laughs> like, we offered to buy him a drink yeah. and thank you, and he was like, no, man, I got it. I'm wow. a TV show famous person, so it's cool. That is cool. See, stuff like that makes me happy. Coming to the end of this show, but we want to always follow up these shows with one last little segment. We're going to call this segment the Rumor Room because none of this shit 
technically is real, but it could be. Yeah, yeah, we could be. We so could this, be last, fantasizing. this last little bit of information of things that you could like, I could like, we could be naked. Yeah, well, we are naked. That's a rumor, but it's not true. No, no, it's not a rumor. I'm confirming this. Confirmed uh, naked. Put your fucking clothes back on. I will not. Okay, so first up on our list, Netflix is in talks with Nintendo uh-huh. to bring us a Legend of Zelda TV show. Which is a little weird. They haven't really specified yeah. if it's cartoon or live action. I'm assuming live action. I'm assuming so. But I don't know no, how I feel they, about that, though. Actually, when I saw the rumor, it said live action. Did so it for like, sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I might I be wrong. I haven't been it. able to see it, a can. lot of things. Like, Nintendo said nothing. Yeah. I'm so scared about anything Nintendo live action ever since the Super Mario movie. Oh, God. <laughs> that travesty is a stain in media forever. I love the Power Glove. Yeah, me too. It's so, so bad. bad. <laughs> Thoughts on a live-action Zelda show? Yeah, is it, that something you want to see? I would love to see a live-action Zelda show. Just because it's Legend of Zelda. I mean, it's one of the biggest... Do you one remember? One of the biggest ones out there, you know, gaming-wise. And there, it's always been big for its story. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's a lot of... When you think of Nintendo, you think of Super Mario, you think of you know Luigi, you think of Zelda, of course. Do, do you Super remember Mario. that, like, prank trailer that came out a yeah few for years IGN ago. correct yeah. yeah yeah that was actually pretty good well made I, I and you know what me back then yeah when I saw that fake trailer and thought it was real I was kind of fucking excited yeah me too so and if they, they can capture fools. and like you watch that trailer now it kind of looks like shit it does it really the, does the like yeah. CGI and everything yeah. they did in it at the time we were like no this is fucking this real they're amazing. doing this yep. shit yep so if they can get it to be at least a little bit like that. They cast the right people because I know everyone's going to be such a stickler for who uh, is Link. Zach Efron as Link. Link doesn't even have a voice. At all. You know? So, so you like can't speak. Yeah. So to me, that's going to be the hardest thing to figure out. How does Link sound? Exactly. What type of personality is Link? We which, never really get that. Which Link is this? Too? Cause yeah. Remember, there's always different Links. And like, what's his? the biggest thing is like, what's his personality? Because yeah. he's kind of just like a, okay, I'll do this. Yeah, okay. Like a, I need to do this because like I'm the hero. Person. Yeah. But really, it's up for us to interpret. Mm-hmm. And everyone has their own interpretation of how Link yeah. sounds, of exactly. how he acts, and what type of person he is. So that's going to be really difficult to figure out. That's going to be part of the pinnacle. That's part of what, why they haven't really announced it yet because Probably. it's just going to be such a big project and it's going to be so hard to... Because it could fail. Yeah. They, it, this could not get made. It could definitely fail. Probably Until I season. see a teaser, this yeah. isn't real. And then our last bit of rumor news today is Alex, you. Yeah, you are I the am, rumor. I am the rumor. The I'm, last the last bit of rumor news uh-huh. is I'm apparently possible. Dating, I am oh. dating Emily Browning. Out of everyone in the world? She's adorable. Do you not agree with that? I mean, come on. Have you no. Seen her? Not so at cute. all. Alice and Brie all day. Oh, okay. I changed my answer. Alice and Brie. All <laughs> Alice and Brie is gorgeous. I love her. Okay, we'll dip, so okay. fuck you. Uh, well, Last bit of rumor news is? Uh, Captain Marvel, um, Angelia Jolie is set, well, not set, but she's in talks uh, to direct this movie. Which is interesting because, as we talked about earlier, Marvel's all about like kind of cookie cutter like getting a director to make sure things happen and she's done pretty well for herself the unbroken okay um, movie that came out over christmas yeah. that was pretty decent um i feel like she's a director that has something to say okay and she's very she's a very serious director very outspoken too i'm okay with it like yeah, that's awesome yeah i love angelina jolie and she's got a really good eye for storytelling yeah. And it just feels like a weird pick to me. I think it's perfect because Captain Marvel is this like hero, right? That it's not really a feminist icon, but um, she could definitely be one. And and because Jill- this is not the original incarnation, not of the, the original incarnation. There's been a couple other ones, six, seven, I believe. Um, since the since Stanley created this uh, character, right? Uh, we're talking about the Marvel Captain Captain Marvel, not the DC Shazam version of it, by the way. <laughs> in case you're not, you know. If you could have anyone play Captain Marvel right now, who would it be? Natalie Dormer, hands down. Why? I mean, have you not seen her on Game of Thrones? No, she's great, but like, yeah, she, what, what what makes you feel like she she's, embodies the she character? She has that embodiment of the character. She's fierce. Um, she has that no, I don't give a fuck attitude. And just, is that Captain Marvel? <laughs> what kind of? I mean. Captain- <laughs> Uh, you, I feel like Captain Marvel's like, hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Even though that's I think, a man, I think would be awesome. She'd be so fierce on that, and her working with Angela Angelina Jolie. If that happens, that would be amazing. If that all happens, that would be just that, that would probably be my favorite Marvel movie to come out in a long, long while. Look at you, you're such a feminist. Girls are gonna be so stoked on you right Dude, now. I love women. Hey, feminism. 
Read about it. Yeah. Fuck that meninist shit. Seriously, so off topic. If you are a meninist, is that the correct that, word? I guess. Meninist? Menin- that's a stupid fucking name. Menist? I don't know. Whoever you are, seriously, take your car and go drive off a bridge because you're the worst. Yeah. We're probably going to get hate for that. We don't give a fuck. Are we going to get hate for that? Oh, we probably will. I mean, come on. I don't We're know. We're probably going to get I'm doxxed. A, I am a guy. Swatted. Hmm. I'm a guy. I okay. know. We're yeah. fucking terrible. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're terrible people in general. <laughs> just but the worst. I think Angela Julie would be a perfect fit. Just no, I think that. she'd do yeah. a great job. Yeah, I just, of course. I'm curious to see how that movie would be. I feel like it'd be really earnest, like a really earnest take on the character. Like a dark taste? A little bit, yeah. you know, because yeah. it's not even so much like dark as she would just take it so seriously. And I think it'll be perfect. To me, the reason why the Marvel verse is working so well is because they have sort of that original um, Superman feel to it, that very like winking at the camera. You know, like it's sort of like everyone's having a good time. There's a sense of joy, and it's a really good experience. It has a comic book it vibe. Can, it has its ups and downs. Okay. It, it takes itself seriously, but it doesn't take itself too, too seriously. seriously. It's like, not fucking Dark Knight Rises, of course, where everything is the hardest thing you've ever been through, <laughs> and you have to climb this huge fucking hole. That was a pretty cool scene, though. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> mata do, mata do, pain, pain, pain. <laughs> Yeah. Do you want to suck my yeah. dick, Batman? <laughs> no, Bane, we don't. <laughs> but I think she'd be. A I nice think she'd do big, great. Yeah. I, I just feel awesome. like she's a director with a voice. Yeah, and she has and so to she's gonna want to have her voice yeah. stapled on this Definitely. fucking movie. Yep. And that's the reason why Edgar Wright didn't do Ant Man. You know, yeah, like he Edgar had Wright. he had so much of a voice. He had so much of a thing to say. Yeah. That Marvel was like. Too much. No, Can't I, don't, have that. I don't think. I don't think that's what we want. I, I, I think that's the difference between. Marvel What's your and... view on Ant Man? Because the trailer came out. It, it looks so cookie cutter. It looks like whatever for me. It's like every other. Superhero. I think it's going to be Marvel's first bomb. Oh, definitely. Their first one that doesn't do, do well, well and no one cares for it. No one really cared about the Thor movie, to be honest. I mean, to be fair here, you hear with Thor like there's this great community of people that really like Loki yeah, of and. Course. All those things. So I feel like Thor is always going to have a huge fan base. Yeah. They're always going to come back to it because there's that great brother rivalry between them. Uh-huh. But Ant-Man is supposed to be this really big important thing that sets up Ultron and all this stuff. And it's mm-hmm. not even coming out till after Ultron. And yeah. Paul Rudd is great. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I'm, I feel I'm like scared. it's so marveled cookie cuttered out that like they don't even know what they're doing anymore. I think with it. it might be a pleasant surprise, kind of like Gardens of the Galaxy. Um, no, I was I was in from the first trailer of Guardians. I, I was I like, was this sketchy. is going to be so good. Sketchy. But once I saw Groot and Rocket, that's when I was like, okay, this might be really cool. And they were the standout characters for me. They were awesome. And honestly, who fucking knew? Like, Guardians of the Galaxy, they had to reach so far down into, but, like, the I mean, nothingness. And they're, they were a, not an essential part of the Infinity War, but they were, like, in it, kind of. Yeah, well, but no one gives nah, a shit know. about those characters yeah. until James Gunn was like, here, check this out. Check this out, yeah. And we were like, oh, my God. Throwing some oldies on it's there? It's Space Avengers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. It's like Firefly for mutants and superheroes. It's It's just, it's everything I want. In and Ant Man is kind of not. I could have done without the whole Gamora Star Lord love story kind of thing. That that was just bull. That, thing, that was unnecessary. There's no love story. Are you fucking kidding me? It never really happened. Are you fucking kidding me? There was no reason for any of that to happen. It didn't happen though. Well, it, even the subtlety of it, it shouldn't have been there. Okay. You know that that's Marvel saying, "Hey, you need this because we need a love interest." Because Marvel is stupid. Really? No, there will. Come on, come on. Marvel Come is on. fucking killing it. They're killing it right now, of course. They're killing they're it. They're killing it. And then you look over at DC and it's just like Hey, they're killing oh, it too. No. Yeah. Not not in an like, epic level as Marvel. When I when I was growing up, I yeah. will give you this. Yeah. DC was my girl. Okay. I love their editorial. They are great writers over uh-huh. there. As far not as anymore. their movies right now, just like they're not hitting it with me. Man of Steel, I don't give a shit. Dark Batman Knight. versus Superman. I'm gonna go because it's yeah. the biggest movie event for comic book heroes since the avengers yeah i think it's way bigger than that because it's gonna be bigger than the avengers for sure how many like normal people gave a shit about the avengers before they saw it they didn't really know anything no one knew iron man everyone knows superman everyone knows everyone knows batman everyone knows batman Batman. especially now 
I think so. I everyone's think gonna has, go. I think DC has a good chance of taking the crown if they make if they play the cards There's right. No way. If they play the cards right, I think they have a great chance. But they didn't. No, not, Man of Steel, always debatable within everyone in the community. If you have Zack Snyder, dude, fucking, making your movie, everyone has an opinion on Man of Steel because it's either bad and it's either really good. Okay, that's that's how it's gonna be. I've I've with accepted Bat- I've with, accepted the changes yeah. and the things that they needed to do. Of course, but to me, Zack Snyder is not a storyteller. Oh, he he really is. He's more of a visual kind of guy. And he's handling the most important franchise yeah, just movie yeah. of all time. I still think he's going to do a de- he's probably going to surprise us, man. I mean, the only has reason why Watchmen is as bearable as it is, I love Watchmen. I love Watchmen because yeah. like I'm a super nerd. Of course. But the masses could give a fuck. Dude, I love And the only I, I reason the only reason why he got that right is on set. If you watch behind the scenes, he's literally sitting there on set reading the comic book Ooh. and then going to direct. Yeah. So none of it is his vision. None of it is him. That's awesome. I love that. So is he really, going to be on set? I really like reading, that. Is he going to be on set reading Dark Knight Returns? Just like okay, here's how we do this. I really hope he does because that would be amazing. That's the only way it's going to work. No, no. But then that's other also ways it can work. But but that means yeah. that he's not a director. Yeah, yeah. That means he's just a copycat. That's fine. With a camera. I'm completely fine with that. So fine with that, especially that's, when it comes to DC movies. <laughs> that's not a director, man. The thing is, Batman v Superman, that's going to be a hot topic later on. Oh, it's it's going to be huge. Yeah, it's going to be a huge movie. A lot of people are going to hate it. A lot of people are going to love it. It's ultimately comes down to your I want to love it because yeah. Batman is my favorite. The thing is, I love DC right now a lot more than Marvel because DC is just exciting me a lot more. It's because they have the Arrow. They have the Flash. Those TV shows are awesome. It's. I think and it's then, all because they haven't dealt their cards yet, yeah. and so have, you don't know what to think. Exactly. And they have Teen Titans coming out soon, hopefully, a live-action one. Uh, I've always wanted to see Nightwing in an actual live action show. Just so, Raven, like uh... the only thing that my bomb is going to be the Krypton show on Sci Fi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so that's this, our outro. <laughs> this feels this feels like a great place to wrap it up. Yeah. Um, we've had a lot of fun talking today. I had no idea we were going to end up talking this much, but yeah. hey, I guess we got a lot of shit to say. Yeah. And if you stuck around this long, thank you very very much. Yeah, uh, thank gonna, you guys. We're going to be doing this bi weekly, hopefully. Um, so yeah, we'll like every other week. Every other know? week. Yeah, every other week. If if something crazy comes out and we'll we have to yeah. get in touch and we have to talk about it, then we'll be there and we'll do it. But yeah, we'll do it for you guys. All in the name of science. No entertainment. All, all <laughs> in the name of science and entertainment. So it's thank Bill you very Nye. much. What up, bro? Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, thank you very much for listening to our crappy voices. Uh, we'll yeah, none, you guys. neither of us have radio voices, we so really this don't. is kind of. Awful. Yeah, but whatever. This is probably our only episode we're ever going to yeah, do. Yeah. <laughs> episode one, the end. The end. <laughs> if you guys want to download this video and put it on your iPhone or whatever, go for it. We don't do care. So. Take it away for free. Fuck it's you. yours. If you have any suggestions for the show, leave a comment below. Alex will monitor all of that and tell you to go fuck yourself when you hate us. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's that should be it. Thank you for tuning in. I am Alex of the Field. And I am Will the Kid. So we'll see you guys next week. Or the week after. Or the week after. The week after. Okay, the week after. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.